Melanie, thank you. Our team covers continuing now with eight on your sides. Justin Shecker in St. Petersburg in the rain where protesters out there uh, brave that rain today. Justin. Well, Rod, good evening. Today's protest comes after St. Pete police say there have been no arrests, no problems during the past two days. You can see behind me some of the demonstrators are huddling under this tent here. Uh, trying to keep their spirits up during this rain. Now, once again, we witnessed a peaceful demonstration with the chants we've heard all week long, like no justice, no peace, and Black Lives Matter. I mean, what happened is an inarguable injustice, and change needs to happen. Even during this afternoon's downpour, protesters still march through downtown St. Pete. I just keep the momentum going, I think. Um, it's really important for us to just not lose steam. Police have urged them to stay on the sidewalks, but that hasn't always been the case. I said no justice! No I said no justice! No peace! Jason Waits brought his son to the march. Yep, my son says, why does it matter that people have different colors? Just colors. It's very beautiful. I mean, I, that's what we want to steal in our kids. Before leaving from City Hall, Chief Anthony Holloway addressed the crowd. Because the only way I'm going to learn about you and you're going to learn about us is by a conversation. Some officers were prepared to walk with the protesters, but some organizers objected. At one point, Assistant Chief Antonio Gillum asked the media to leave. We're trying to get some healing. And we don't want everybody to think that this is a photo op. And eventually the police officers decided not to march in today's protest. The department tweeted to avoid conflict. St. Pete PD decided to leave. Obviously the conditions here, it started, the rain is picking up, but I'm told the protest is expected to continue around 6.30. Reporting live in St. Petersburg, I'm Justin Schecker, 8 on your side.